Ronald D. Vitiello, acting deputy commissioner at Customs and Border Protection, spoke in front of border wall prototypes in San Diego last Thursday. Jenna Schoenfeld for the New York Times. Good morning. Want to get California today by email? Here's the sign up. Today's introduction is written by Jennifer Medina, a national correspondent based in Los Angeles. When contractors began, earlier this fall, building the prototypes for the wall along the Mexican border that President Trump made central to his campaign, local law enforcement officials braced themselves for chaos. They imagined protests on the scale of those over the Keystone Pipeline, with similar encampments to those in South Dakota last year. Customs and Border Protection was similarly worried that large protests could somehow disrupt the construction of the prototypes. Instead, with the eight prototypes constructed in an industrial section of Ote Mesa near San Diego, there has been little outcry. Large protests have yet to take place and there has been no need to use all the plans each contractor was required to make in case of a hostile attack. Each of the prototypes cost between $300,000 and $500,000 to build. Border Patrol officials say it is likely to be months before they are tested with people trying to scale them, so it is possible big protests will occur. But one of the San Diego area's most vocal immigration activists, Enrique Marones, who created the group Border Angels, said that protesting does more harm than good. By doing that, it brings more attention to it, he said. It is still unclear when or whether Congress will approve funding for the wall, though the president insists it will get built. But for now, the eight walls of concrete jut out in the industrial section near the border with nothing surrounding them but an open field. California Online Please note we regularly highlight articles on news sites that have limited access for non-subscribers. Rose McGowan spoke at the opening session of the Women's Convention in Detroit on Friday. Erin Kirkland for the New York Times I have been silenced for 20 years, Rose McGowan said. I have been slut-shamed. I have been harassed. I have been maligned. And you know what Tim, just like you. The New York Times he said, good luck finding a job in this town again. Women in California's capital complain of a culture of rampant UAL misconduct and of a system that does not seriously address their complaints. The New York Times even as younger House Democrats call for fresh party leadership, Rep. Nancy Pelosi, 77, ISNT going anywhere. The Washington Post Eric Garcetti, the popular Los Angeles mayor, said he would NT run for California governor. Los Angeles Times The debris of homes in the Fountain Grove area of Santa Rosa. Jim Wilson, New York Times Why are we thinking about permitting the rebuilding of Fountain Grove officials in Sonoma County debated the wisdom of rebuilding a neighborhood that has burned to the ground twice in 53 years. The press Democrat hundreds of people gathered at a college in Santa Rosa for a memorial to those who die in the wine country fires. A bell was rung 42 times. San Francisco Chronicle It's a nightmare. Neighborhoods throughout Southern California are being changed by the arrival of homeless encampments. Orange County Register The National Park Service pulled funding from a project by a UC Berkeley professor on the Black Panther Party after conservative groups complained that it would honor a violent extremist group. East Bay Times A memorial to the victims of the Las Vegas shooting. Much attention has gone to those killed, but injured survivors face a special burden. John Locke Hare Associated Press This is your life, the doctor told Kim Gervais, of San Bernardino County. You're a quadriplegic. Las Vegas shooting victims now face hard new realities. The New York Times The authorities said a group of roughly 100 youths ran riot at a theme park in Santa Clara assaulting and robbing patrons. The Mercury News A wolf killed a California rancher's cow for the first time in a century. Ranchers have complained that state law prevents them from adequately protecting the livestock. Lassen County Times You've heard of Greek diners and Chinese laundries. You may not have heard of Burmese sushi counters. The New York Times Alex Bregman was mobbed by his Astros teammates after driving in the winning run in the bottom of the 10th.
Thomas Schiauser Today Sports, via Reuters in a game that lasted 5 hours 17 minutes and featured 25 runs and 7 homers, the Astros beat the Dodgers to put themselves on the brink of their first World Series title. The New York Times and Astros players' racist gesture after hitting a home run off the Dodgers' U Darvish opened up a heated conversation about race and identity in professional sports. Los Angeles Times A house in Oakland makes as much energy as it consumes. It's on the market for $2 million. SFGate.com Coming up this week Tuesday is Halloween. Cities and towns all over California are hosting ghoulish parades, bashes, costume contests and trick-or-treat events. In another scare on Tuesday, the Dodgers will play the Astros in Game 6 of the World Series. If they lose, it's all over. On Wednesday, lawyers for Facebook, Google and Twitter will appear before congressional panels investigating the role their sites played in Russia's interference in the 2016 election. On Friday, SFFILM will present an evening of opdocs, non-fiction shorts from the New York Times, at the Vogue Theater in San Francisco. The Breeders' Cup World Championships will be held at the Del Mar Racetrack on Friday and Saturday. 13 horse races will go after $28 million in prize money. And finally, fall's colors have broken out at the courthouse in downtown Quincy. Philip Reedy by now, the fall colors have faded from the Sierra Nevada's high elevations. But further down the mountains, the aspens, sycamores, cottonwoods and other trees are now alight, according to reports from leaf peepers. Philip Reedy, a chemistry instructor from Davis, went for a look last Friday. He drove a scenic route through the Plumas County area in the northern Sierra, with views along the Feather River Canyon and the North Yuba River. During a stop in Quincy, he found maple trees erupting in yellow and gold. If you're a within a reasonable distance, it's well worth a trip, Mr. Reedy said. But the leaves are dropping, he warned. I wouldn't wait too long, Mr. Reedy shared a few of his photos the North Yuba River east of Downeyville. Philip Reedy More Colors in Quincy, a gold rush town in the northern Sierra. Philip Reedy Yellows and Golds along the North Fork Feather River. Philip Reedy California Today goes live at 6 a.m. Pacific Time weekdays. Tell us what you want to see Cassidy at nighttimes.com. The California Today columnist, Mike McFate, is a third-generation Californian, born outside Sacramento and raised in San Juan Capistrano. He lives in Los Ozos. Follow him on Twitter. California Today is edited by Julie Bloom, who grew up in Los Angeles and graduated from UC Berkeley.